All right, so I've been watching this for some 20 odd years. You know, just. Oh, ma'am, you've been doing it forever. Welcome Guys, to the let, let First Amendment. Just, I fought sir, for Sir, can you just stay focused on me? Taxpayer pay jacket. Sir. Thank just, you. I brought it overseas. You, you, all right, sir, just, just ask me the question. So what is it about conservatives in this whole racism thing? Like, you guys are always just saying that it's either not a thing or it's, you know, just not in any of the institutions or the police department. But it seems that over the past 18 years, we've had several race riots, and the biggest one being in 2020. So it's like, how are we still denying segregation in a city where we can clearly see what fucking neighborhoods are white, which ones are black, which ones are Latino, and we know how we got there. So it's like, what is it with conservatives and admitting that there's a problem and not addressing it? Because it seems like you guys want to be obsessed with, oh, the gender thing or the racism thing. And then you guys say, oh, it's not here. It's not a big problem. But why are millions of people rioting every couple of years? So let me ask you a question. We can say that it's Democrats yeah. and shit, right? Well, so, let no, me ask okay, you a question. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So do you th what do you think is a bigger problem facing America, single fatherhood or racism? Racism, by far. That's can how you say that, to... say that in the microphone? Racism, by far, because racism gets people killed, not single fatherhood. Well, no, a single motherhood. Let me be more specific. So, so single moms or fathers leaving the home you think is a bigger problem than racism? No, sir, sir, sir. You're gonna have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat that one again for you. I think racism is a bigger problem than fathers being outside of the home. However, I do see fathers not being so, in so, the home so, so. is a problem. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm with... Professor Peter. And today we are reacting to... Eka gets shut down with simple facts. I really want to see what happens. <laughs> yes. Oh. What, what would Charlie actually do? Yes, that's true. <laughs> okay. So, guys, let's continue. Yeah. Let, let's make sure we're defining our terms. How would you define racism then? Racism is a system of oppression used by uh, used by a certain group using prejudice, institutional power, Got it. and it's situated by the media, government, and all these. So, other give me an example of one thing you, as a black man, cannot do that I, as a white man, can do in America. Got you. Okay. So, about two weeks ago, right, I went to a DeSantis rally. Got my ticket, all that good bullshit. Been to a million different, you know, rallies of a kind, whether, you know, I was a conservative at the time or whether I was a liberal, right? I know that as a black person, I am far more likely to be arrested for expressing my view, whether I am a conservative or a liberal. And I've done it on both sides. And... Oh, yes, I was. I was well, arrested. You were probably being a and jerk. That's, that's oh, why you were actually, arrested, and that's the best the part. And that's the best did. part, right? That's the best part. I wasn't even being a jerk. And the courts even okay, found so, our well, beloved let me, courts. Let me make sure I understand this. So you them. think the bigger problem than fathers not being in the home is a abstract conspiracy theory that you have that hecklers and jerks at political events are arrested because of the color of their skin? That, that's, your, that's the best definition I'm of saying, institutional racism. No, that's, that's not my definition on racism. I well, did no, tell you what my definition Give me an example of something a white man like me can do that a black man like you can't do. Because guess oh, what? For one, if I showed for up one, at a DeSantis sure, event and started heckling, sure. I'd be kicked out and arrested. No, you would not. No, you, in well, fact, I even have evidence You know how I know that's true? You Most know, of the well, do you want to know how I know it's white true? white suburban kids yeah, from Highland Park, and they're arrested a lot more, actually, when you see the mug shots. Yeah. So white kids are arrested a lot more. Could well, that possibly be? Could that possibly be? Can you talk into the mic? And I'm, and, I'm just, and I'm just guessing here. Could it possibly be that white people are arrested more because you have a higher population and therefore by proximity you are more like... Because it's math. It's basic math. I know we hate math. I know we hate it, but I passed well, okay. it, unlike y'all. Well, so let, let me ask you a question. How does racism contribute to black-on-black -black crime in Chicago? How is oh, white people to blame for that? Oh, actually, matter of fact, that's actually a whole other issue. So let's talk about, so you want to talk about intracommunal violence as it pertains yeah, to Yeah, so what, what does the white man have to do with so, that? So, oh, and that's a great thing. I love the red herring that you threw in there. No, it's, yes, it's, because, it's a, it's hey, hey, intracommunal violence is proximal, right? So. Wow. <laughs> Racism <clears throat> and, um, and. Single Being, parenting. Yes. Hmm. Which do you think it's a, it's a major challenge? Me to me, um, it's racism. <laughs> okay. To okay. me, it's racism because um, if 
single um, mother or father has the opportunity, maybe let me just say black, have the opportunity to go to um, a big organization to work, because of your skin type, you won't get that opportunity. Or maybe you are going to a debate, you won't even get the audience safe. You understand? So me, I feel that the racist is more because single parents, if there's money to provide for the children and this, everything will be okay for single parents. Well, I I I would want to ask you to say no. Just maybe not no. I still agree with you, but I still feel that um both of them are let's say forty nine fifty one to me. I'm not saying racism is forty nine. I'm not saying um single parenting is forty nine. So. You could do the math yourself. But what I just feel is that um, the much harm that racism can cause, you know, we're not done with this stuff, so we, we still have a lot of things to digest from it. Yeah. But the much harm that racism can cause is same equal harm that um, single parenting okay. can cause because that's where we get to see a lot of children, why we have a lot of scattered homes, you know, all dysfunctional homes, is because... A lot of parents, sorry, a lot of children have not really felt the love, love of both the father and the mother. And so it's becoming a challenge, just like those one of the um, um, podcasts we both listened to, when um, it was, um, Charlie was trying to say particularly that the amount of words that a child listens to or consumes that helps a baby from zero to 18 months get a whole lot of things psychologically faster... Yes. It's much more compared to when just the mother is with the child. So yes. you see, it's it's yes. it's the same thing. Yes. So guys, please let's continue. Yeah. So when we have segregation and we got races sitting in one area and you got another race in another area. Now we never ask white people why is white uh, white on white crime so high with white people and never uh, ins but instead we focus on black people. Yeah. So out of the 530 murders in Chicago of the last year, how many mm -hmm. were black on black crime? Hey, I wasn't looking. But you know what I yeah, do know? Well over you know, 420 hey. of them were black-on-black sure, gang-related sure, crimes. Sure. How is that sure. racism to blame for that? Let's talk. So now are we going to talk about over-policing? I'm sorry, sir. You're kind of would demonstrating. You, like to, you can't answer would you, the would you Would you like to talk about I mean, we can't talk about it. We can. Okay. Are you ready to address it, though? Well, Are you ready to address it? Yeah. Are you ready? Because we can talk about because we can talk about black on black crime, but we need to talk about it as it pertains. We need to. Okay, let's talk about it, sis. We, we, I'm ready to talk about. All right, hold on. So I'm ready let, to let talk me just about it. let me just narrow this down. About... So let me just let me just say this, all okay? Right, all right. So if you were to rank the hundred biggest problems in America. Yeah. The fact that I know we're not a racist country is the best example you have. Is okay, some so, so you know we're story of you getting kicked out of a DeSantis what? rally. If we were a racist country, you'd no. say, Charlie, I can't go in a convenience store. Charlie, I can't go into school. No, we actually live in such a li a amazingly so not, decent country that whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not let's not do that. Okay. All I did was speak. All right. All I did was no, speak. you're trying to pull out. Oh, of my no. Mostly peaceful, everybody. No, Mostly peaceful. I okay. I didn't lay hands on you. I didn't lay hands on All you. Right. I got witnesses. I did not touch you. Yeah. No. All right. I touched the mic. We're gonna wrap this one I'll up. Play. But let me just let anyway, me just say this. We got racism in we we got racism all over the U.S. We just had a race riot two three years okay, ago. Okay, so let's in talk 2020. About, wait, hold on. And, so, oh my God! And then we had all 50 states plus 18 countries. But don't worry, Alex. Wait. So by I'm race riots, you mean? You mean I mass looting of big I know screen how it TVs? Works. Let, let me tell you, it is not an argument in your favor that we're a racist country because blacks decide, decide to start burning down Wendy's and stealing stuff. That's called Actually, criminality. Actually, it is because you're not, even, you're, not even you're not even looking as to why it happened. You're not even looking as to why it happened. And that's cool. And that's cool. You know, we can definitely play, uh, you know, obtuse on the whole issue. Yeah, black people were burning it down. Why? Racism. Racism was a big issue, and we can pretend that it's not a big issue. But hey, yeah. hey. If, if you don't want to, then that's just called being obtuse. And that's why I asked you. And that's why I asked you. Why did you have such a big problem with talking about racism? You want well, to claim that it's not there and you can say all, right. all you want. So but that still I, doesn't prove. That I, still, that I, still, that still does conclude. not. If you want to talk about racism that could be race proven, right. let me, so let me, let me give you so. some examples of racism that could be proven. How about affirmative action at this college that discriminates against Asian students and white students? How about affirmative action hiring practices in the federal government? We are such a decent, non-racist country. The best example that he has 
is to show that he was mistreated. And if he acted like this at the DeSantis event, I can see why he was kicked really? out of the DeSantis event. Really? <laughs> Charlie, it's his mouth. He's a strong speaker. Yes. He's a very strong speaker. Like, ha! Ah, he said, I can see the reason why you were kicked out. <laughs> Hmm. And the guy, he was um, trying to talk about uh, racist and um, single father and this, but he wasn't saying it in a polite way. He just wants Charlie to just accept his talk. Not he don't want to hear any opinion. No matter what you say to him, he's just he believes that racist is this that everybody is uh, um, black uh, that doing racist is everywhere. Mm -hmm. This 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 like. But Charlie, Charlie actually has a point though there in the statement Charlie has a point when he was trying to express that um, 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 what's the word racism is a factor fine yes. but Charlie's major factor was not due to the depth of racism it wasn't due to the depth of racism it was on the function of um, single parenting single parenting has led to so many things Thanks. you know we cannot overemphasize the depth of things that single parenting has led to so um it's a major factor like i told you and if we are able in our own society to be able to curb off um the factor of single parenting you know and then every father when you get if you have a child you should take care of your child you shouldn't That's leave true. them you know so if we're able to manage that situation i'm not sure we'll be having a bad society you know, in future. So that's just what I have to say on that. Mm. Interesting. So guys, please comment below on any video you want us to react to. Comment below and also share your opinion on this uh, wonderful topic. And to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Anger Fashion Store. Fashion, Fashion makes sense. sense.